I have got another absolute legend on the show for you guys today. His name is Dr. Noah St. John. He's known worldwide as the father of affirmations. So the original copy of this book was called The Great Little Book of Affirmations, which I read several years ago and has been on my recommended reading list for my coaching clients and higher. And I've recommended it so many times. It's been republished through Hay House. Um, the I, I believe he said the book of affirmations. I'll link it all up in the show notes. Um, but affirmations, what is this? I'm going to let him explain it to you, but it is the coolest concept, right? He's his, his position is that affirmations, like same affirmations me are like, don't work. And he's going to explain why. Um, and just, you know, whether you like affirmations or not, this concept of affirmations is super cool and super effective. And I know cause I've done it. Um, he is also known as the mental health coach to the stars. He's worked with Hollywood celebrities, eight figure company, CEOs, professional athletes, you know, uh, he's got Gary V and, uh, Jenny McCarthy on his website, uh, giving him accolades. Like he's, he's been around he, and he's been doing this work for 25 years. He's super fun to listen to. Um, also I need to read his next book or he's, he considers this like his core, most important book and it's called power habits. So he's going to give you guys, um, all the info on all of that. Cause he's a big believer. It's like, it's not just in your mind. You also got to put the stuff into action or it's not going to work like obviously. Right. So. Um, yeah, he's got some courses. He's got an online event coming up. So make sure you check all that out in the show notes. I'll link everything up for you guys and yeah, get ready. Here is Dr. Noah St. John. Okay. So, um, we were just chatting before and I was telling you, I have, I have a very short list of books. It's not an extensive list, but books that I recommend that my clients read while they're working with me in health and mindset coaching. And your book is on it. Your book is on Thank it. You. Well, and you, you know, you said you, there's a newer version with Hay House, but like I read yes. a long time ago, the great little book of affirmations. And I have probably, you know, I probably recommended your book on several interviews, oh, like all the time. Cause it's such you. a paradigm shifting, powerful, yes. very yes. logical and effective technique. So let's talk about affirmations. Can you tell Absolutely. us, you know, how this whole th idea works? Absolutely. And by the way, for uh, for everybody listening and watching, we are saying a new word for some of you. It's affirmation. So this yes. is my Hay House book uh, called The Book of Affirmations. Uh, you, we probably can't see, but it's the fourth edition of this book. So anyway, so you can learn more at affirmations.com, A-F-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O. Yeah. So we're not we're saying a new word for some of you uh, <laughs> if you haven't heard of it before. So everybody uh, watching this program and listening, I'm sure is knows what an affirmation is, right? We all know what that is. Why? Because we've been taught for decades, uh, you know, from the old uh, gurus and they say, you know, you say these positive statements, right? So like, uh, you know, I'm an executive, I'm an executive coach, a business coach. I'm also a keynote speaker. And so one of the things I like to do uh, at my keynote speech is I like to have, I say, okay, everybody now stand up. We're going to do an affirmation, just like we've been taught for decades. And everybody say, I am rich. And everybody goes, I am rich. And you know what happens next? Everybody starts laughing. Right. And I go, what, what are you laughing at? And they say, well, I'm not rich. And I say, but you just said you were. And they go, yeah, but I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. See, now, isn't that the problem with that old method, right? Mm -hmm. With the old way, we say these positive statements and we want to believe them, but most of the time we just don't believe it, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, the gurus and everybody that, you know, the in the old method, they say, well, just repeat it a thousand million, billion, kajillion times until you believe it someday. Mm -hmm. And so what they're basically saying is, well, just bash your brain into submission. That's really what they're saying. And yeah. I'm like, okay, now for some people that works, uh, but frankly, for most people, it doesn't work at all. In fact, did you know that a scientific study was done on mm. this very topic? Wow. And it found that 75%, get this, for 75% of people, the old affirmations method actually doesn't work. Not only that, it makes you feel more frustrated than before. Wow. You know, I use that method just as to get my clients aware of how deep their pain is on something. It's like a, a detector test of how much you don't believe it. Because sometimes if somebody has a trauma right. around, I'm smart because they were told they were stupid their whole life. And they're like, I'm smart. They'll start crying, you know, and it can right. actually trigger a lot. But I'm like, I use it as a way to see how deeply you don't believe that thing. When you look in your eyes and there's pain, it's like, now we know. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Now we know some sensitive topics, but you're, yeah, that's awesome. They did a study on this. Great to know. Okay, yeah. continue on. Yeah, absolutely. So the point is, again, 75%. So it only works 25% of the time. Imagine if you had a smartphone. 
that yeah. only worked 25 percent of the time what would you do <laughs> probably trade it in right right for something that worked a little better so that's what i i invented a better smartphone mm. if you want to use that analogy mm. so so the, that's the old way so what i invented 25 years ago um and in the, in my books i i I call it the shower that changed everything, right? Because I was yeah. actually in the shower when I discovered this. I'm sure most people listening have had this aha moment in the shower, right? You yep. have, right? Very common. But, you know, for this one in particular, well, you know, I've written uh, 19 books about it so far. So, you know, you know, got to pay attention to those shower moments, right? <laughs> anyway, so, so what is the difference between an affirmation, that old way, and what I invented, my affirmations method? So it's very, it's actually very simple. So uh, if an affirmation is a statement we don't believe, an affirmation is an empowering question that immediately engages the embedded presupposition factor of your brain. Now, what does that mean? It's a fancy way of saying when you ask a question, your brain automatically searches for the answer. All right. So, for example, uh, I, this is another game I like to play at my, at my seminars and events. Um, I'll say, OK, let, I'm going to ask you a question and then I want you to see what happens. So, Tara, let's play this game, if you would. Let's play. Right, so I'll ask you a question. Why is the sky blue? Why is the sky blue? Now, look at what just happened in your brain in that few moments right there. What just mm -hmm. happened? What happened? All sorts of answers started popping in. And <laughs> hey, right. Yeah. Right. But really, what the, the fact is, the bottom line is your brain started to search for the answer. Yes. Right? That's yes. that's all that happened, really. Yep. When we boil it down, your brain searched. So I asked the question, why is the sky blue? Now, your brain literally just went into search mode. That's exactly yes. what happened, right? Yes. And so just like uh, using Google, right? If you use Google, probably most of us use Google, you know, dozens of times a day, you know, yeah. uh, how to do this, how to do that, you know, I'm searching for this, I'm searching, what are you actually doing? You're actually asking questions. You're literally right. asking questions and Google shows you these answers, right? Right. Also, same with a computer. If you have a computer and you're searching for a file, you do a file find and it's like, oh man, I got to find this file and you get search for this. Well, your brain's like a computer. Your brain's actually like Google. It's like a computer. So we ask a question, your brain searches for the answer. Right. So <clears throat> this is what I realized 25 years ago, April 1997, in the shower that changed everything, when I really literally said, why are we going around making statements we don't believe when the human mind responds automatically to questions? And then I said, well, let's see. What would it look like if we were to, instead of saying these statements we just usually don't believe, what, what would that look like? And I said, well, let's see. You've got the statement or affirmation for example, I am rich, to which your brain goes, yeah, right, mm -hmm. right? And so I said, if that's the statement, then what would the question be? And then I said, why am I so rich? Why am I so rich? Now, when you ask that question, what mm -hmm. immediately starts to happen in your brain? You start, start looking for ways that search. you are rich. Exactly. Yeah. You're searching for the answer. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're talking about here, what I teach in my books and my coaching is and my keynote speeches is the law of sowing and reaping. As you sow, so shall you reap. Now, this is an ancient law. It's been taught for yeah. centuries. However, what are we sowing? Well, we're sowing seeds of thought. Mm -hmm. And yet, what are most people doing? Sowing lousy thought seeds. Yeah. Like, why am I so stupid? Why can't yeah. I do anything right? Why am I so fat? Why can't I lose? Oh my weight? gosh. Why isn't my business growing? Right. Why can't I find the right partner? Why is there more month left at the end of the money? When you ask lousy questions, what do you get? Yeah. And when you put it in the context of what you just shared, it's like, oh, it's so powerful. It's like, now you're going to find all the reasons for That's that. Right. Because wow. of the law of sowing and reaping. That's the beauty of it. And that's the danger of it also, because the, <laughs> it doesn't matter what you ask. So if you ask lousy questions, what do you get? You get lousy answers. And that creates a lousy life. Yes. Now, you didn't mean to do it, but it doesn't matter. So now with the law of sowing and reaping, so notice we're using the same law. We're using the same brain, your brain. You're already doing this. Now, all we're doing is we're switching disempowering questions to empowering questions and that's how I invented my affirmations method. In fact, back then, 25 years ago, I said, I got to come up with a name. I got to call it. I'm like, this is an incredible discovery. I really yeah. discovered it kind of by accident. I mean, I've been yeah. reading all these self-help books for decades, right. trying it the old way. 
And I never, ever got the result that I wanted. So I was like, there's got to be a better way. Well, I discovered a better way, a way that we call, again, we call it by affirmations method. There it is. Again, A-F-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N-S, affirmations. You can go to affirmations.com. So the point is, the word, this is a very important point, because people ask me this all the time, Tara. They say, Noah, how did you come up with this word? How did you invent this word, right? It's a new right. word. And I, I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm known as the father of affirmations mm-hmm. for obvious reasons, right? Mm-hmm. I'm also known as the mental health coach to the stars, but I'm also known as the nerdiest nerd in the personal growth industry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Sheldon Cooper of self-help. <laughs> and so the point is, <clears throat> one of my favorite subjects in school was Latin. I love Latin, right? Mm-hmm. And we nerds love Latin. And so the word affirmation comes from the Latin word firmare, which means to make firm. Now the word affirmations that I invented, and by the way, it's perfectly legitimate to invent a new word when you have a new technology or a new way of looking yeah. at the universe. Isn't it true? We often yeah. need a new word to describe Definitely. it. For example, Google, Facebook, YouTube, right? computer, internet. I mean, these are all new words in terms of human yeah. history. They've only been around a very, very short time. Of course, now we use them every day, but yeah. it was a new technology. We need a new word. Well, Love this, it. what I'm sharing, what I teach in my books, my courses, my coaching is a new technology of the mind. Love it. Right? So affirmations comes from the Latin word formare, which means to form or give shape to. So the question Mm -hmm. that I often ask my coaching clients or in my seminars, I'll say, what if you're making something firm, but it's in the wrong form? That means you form the life you didn't even want. And that is what tens of millions of people are doing right now, unconsciously, unwittingly. And now, finally, for the first time, using my affirmations method, we've helped over a million people all around the world for the last 25 years to change their beliefs, change their habits, change their results, and change their lives. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I've experienced myself. Like it's, it's so cool to talk to you because I've literally done that. Like I've oh. lived it in my quiet moments on a plane and I'm like trying, you know, so it, it, it does work. And that's why I talk about it often. And it's oh. obviously why you've had so much success because it works, you know, it's, it's not the 25% iPhone. <laughs> yeah. That would really suck. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, and, and that's where I kind of wanted to shift because I mean, you've worked with so many incredible people. Yeah. I mean, this is, you've been doing this for so long. You've done so much. You know, there's it, this apply the beauty of the simplicity of mm. affirmations is that it applies to anything, Correct. Y- your health, your wealth, your relationships, right. you know, any anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I noticed, you know, you have your millionaire affirmations, mm-hmm. and because you do such like high level business coaching, I gotta ask you about this. Can you talk about some of your experiences with this strategy, with this technique, with this technology? I guess we'll call it, um, uh, in terms of money and business and some of the things that you've seen. Yeah, absolutely. So what I want people to realize is affirmations are the most powerful, most effective, and yes, the simplest method to change your beliefs that's ever been invented. Yeah. And and so it is. I mean, it's um, so well, simple like, and effective yeah. and fast. Well, yeah. I mean, like one of my eight-figure clients, uh, who, who's now a dear friend, I mean, he says that, you know, my work starts where the secret left off. Yeah. And it really does, you know. Yeah. And so the point is. What I want people to realize is something as powerful and effective as affirmations are, they are part of a larger system. Now, what I call it, I'm going to hold up another one of my books. I won't help all 19, mm-hmm. but uh, this is called Power Habits. Now, the Power Habits, what this means is 25 years ago, in addition to discovering affirmations, I also realized that highly successful people are doing things unconsciously. Mm -hmm. that they don't even know they're doing. Mm -hmm. And therefore, because they're unconscious, they can't teach it. And so what I mean by that is I'll give you an example. A lot of people come to me after they've, you know, tried all the gurus and they spent all this money on all this different, you know, stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet they're still at a plateau and they're like, how come I can't break through this plateau? And I'm like, and, and, you know, they, some of them are self-proclaimed self-help junkies. I mean, that's yeah. their term. Mm-hmm. And I'll give you a quick example. Like one of my clients, uh, we have a program called the 12 week breakthrough where I help people make more in just 12 weeks than they made in the past 12 months. While actually that. winning back one to three hours a day and four to eight weeks in their year. So not mm-hmm. just making more money, but more importantly to me, making, giving their life back at time, yeah. right? Because yeah. time and money, if, you know, 
If, totally. if I said, well, you know what? I can help you make a lot more money. All you have to do is work 10 times harder, never take a break, don't see your family, don't take vacation. Sound great? And you're like, well, no, that doesn't sound very good, right? No. So no, the, right. the point is money and time, right? We want both right. of them. So the point is um, this this one client and she had a self-proclaimed self-help junkie and, you know, been all the seminars and she was doing well, you know, she wasn't like poor and destitute, but you know, she'd, pla- she'd plateaued, right? Yeah. And so she heard that I'd help people break through uh, income ceilings and stuff. Yeah. So um, I taught her, you know, my system. Well, and she made more. In fact, she tripled her investment in just two weeks of working with me. She tripled wow. her investment. We hadn't even gotten to the money part yet. Wow. <laughs> and so what does, that, what does that show you? It shows you that what I'm teaching is different. And what I mean by that is when, <clears throat> when you go to these gurus, right, mm-hmm. they're saying stuff that isn't exactly wrong, but it's also not very helpful. Yeah. Right? So I'll give you an example. Um, so the gurus will say, well, you know, you got to set your goals. You got to believe in yourself and you got to have a vision. You're like, no kidding. Yeah. I, I think I knew all that. Right. I mean, that's right. That's, but see, it's not wrong. Right. Right. But it also doesn't really help you. Yeah. So it's, that's what, what the power habit system represents is what these highly successful people do. And, and, you know, this, like I said, this is the system that I came up with after studying these guys for over 20 years yeah, and now working with, with people for over 25 years. So the point is they're doing these things unconsciously. And so they're saying the things that aren't wrong, but also yeah. aren't helpful. So it's kind of like, imagine if you're in your car and, you know, you're driving somewhere and you're, and you're it's unfamiliar territory, right? And you're kind of like a little lost. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, shoot, my, my phone's not working and I can't get my GPS and I, I don't really know where I am right now and I don't know how to reach my destination. So you're like, you, you see someone on the side of the road, and you pull over and you say, excuse me, could you tell me where I am? And they say, yeah, you're in a car. <laughs> and you go, okay, now that wasn't wrong, but it also really didn't help. <laughs> so that's kind of what right. it's like, you right. know, with this. And so what I do is I say, okay, well, here's how we get you there. And, and anyway, we help you get there a lot. Mm. Better. So, so that's really, so again, to answer your question, I want people to realize that as, as amazing and powerful and, and just miraculous, really, affirmations are, my affirmations method, they're part of a larger system, what I call the power habit system. So, mm. but the point is when, when we get these incredible, you know, like that client I was just telling you about, I, I'll give you another example. Um, I had another client and um, I asked him a question. I said, how much do you think your head trash is costing you right now? Now, Head trash is something else that I talk about. Head trash, the voice in your head that's telling you you can't do whatever it is you want to do, right? Basically, that's holding you back. A lot of people yeah. call it limiting beliefs or self-sabotage or whatever. I just call it head trash because it's the trash that's actually in your head that's that's really holding you back. Yeah. Well, anyway, I said, how much do you think your head trash is costing? His name's Charles, my client. And I said, he said to me without batting eye, he says, it's going to cost me a million dollars. If I don't take out this head trash, it's easily going to cost me a million dollars this year. So I said, okay, I'll tell you what. You give me 10% of that. Just give me 10% of that million dollars and I will get you that million dollars by, you know, t- taking you through my system. So mm-hmm. he, I said to him, if you give me a dollar and I give you $10 back, is that a good deal? He goes, well, yeah, that's a really good deal. So he paid me 10% of a million, which is 100K. I mean, he paid me 100K. Mm-hmm. Well, in less than 10 months, we've added up 1.5 million to his business. Wow. And it's because of this systematic approach and what I want people to realize mm-hmm. is that, you know, when you look at the gurus, it's very personality driven. Yeah. Right? They have these larger than life personalities. Well, my argument is, well, that's great for you. But what if I don't have that personality? Right. You right. know, well, what am I supposed to do? Right. And they say, well, just believe in yourself. Well, what if I don't believe in myself? Most people yeah. don't believe in themselves. Right. So, I mean, I, I, I was listening to these guys. I'd be in the back going, uh, but I don't believe in myself. So what, you know. I guess you're out of luck. Mm. Well, no, that's not good enough for me. You know, the wow. Sheldon Cooper self help was like I couldn't accept that. So that's what you know. That's what the system represents. I bet you were the type of kid that wanted to know how everything worked. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. I sense in you that, especially it's, it's humans. Like... I want to know how humans work. That was always my. I didn't care about yeah. clocks and TVs and stuff. I I wanted to know about human behavior. Wow. So that's. Like I said, that's I wrote all these books for me, really. I mean, I wrote them because I'm like, nobody I love it. Wrote them. I had to write them myself. So 
I love it. Hey, through pain, <laughs> greatness is usually born. And you're just like, this isn't working. And I'm going to freaking think about this until it does. And then ma and make a system that can work for people. You know, I love this. I haven't read power habit. So I'm so glad it came up. I cannot wait to read it. I'm going to get it yeah. right after this. I just yeah. wrote myself a program about, I'm like, it's all about habits. It's just, if you yeah. can get the routine, the habits of certain little things in place, like the results start coming on auto autopilot, but you're exactly right. right. You know, we hear that about professional athletes they don't know it's like how do you do that they're like i don't know i don't know and they don't know <laughs> I, I mean they really don't know they are in fact unconscious so think about this right all whenever we humans want to master a new habit or task or anything we go through four stages the first is unconscious incompetence that means you don't know you don't know the yeah. second stage is conscious incompetence that means you know you don't know the yeah. third stage is conscious competence which is you know you know and then the final stage is unconscious competence, which is you do without thinking. Wow, love it. And so that's what I realized with the power habit system is these highly successful people are doing these habits yeah. without thinking. And so they can't teach it. When you're unconscious, right. a lot of times you can't teach it. And so yeah. that's why I always say the gurus aren't saying anything wrong, but it's also they're leaving out all the good stuff. You I know. love it. You're like a, you're like a modern day Napoleon Hill. You're like, let me observe, let me be this curious observer of how all of these successful people think and put it together in a way that people can actually replicate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. What, what's your other favorite books, you know, top books, you have 19 of them, correct? So like, you know, oh. what, what, besides power habits and affirmations, like what else do you, would you recommend? You mean that I've written? Yeah. Like where, you <laughs> oh, know, where well, are your okay. big, your all big, right, so, you know, gotta reads. I yeah, mean, yeah. All well, I mean, good, this I'm one sure is it. called Get Rid of Your Head Trash mm. About Money, How to Avoid the Three Big Money Mistakes Even Smart People Make. By the way, um, everybody watching listening to the program, you can get this book for free at sendmeabooknoah.com. Very easy to okay. remember. Sendmeabooknoah.com. Oh. And I will send you a book. The book is free. We just ask you to cover the shipping. So that's about taking out your head trash. And then this is the book you just mentioned, which is Millionaire App Formations, uh -huh. uh, The Magic Formula That Will Make You Rich. How's that for a subtitle, right? Millionaire App Formations. So this one is really focused on, on you know, money, wealth, whereas, uh, you know, the original App Formations book by Hay House, sorry for all the shiny there. Uh, but yeah, that one, this one covers like everything. This is like your whole life. This one is really just focused on on wealth and, and money. Wow. And, and then you have all your online programs too. Correct. Which is, yes. you know, helpful. So is it noahstjohn.com? Yes, noahstjohn.com. And just, go, there's a shop, just click on shop, the shop button there. And you see my, our different programs, like, you know, that one-on-one -on -one coaching I was talking about. Yeah. You know, client, And I mean, we, we, uh, there's another client who he uh, is a CEO and he was at 4 million. He was plateaued at 4 million. So, mm -hmm. you know, like 300 K a month, which is darn good. Right. I mean, that's right. really good, but he'd been there for four years. And he tried everything. He threw all this money at the problem, went to all the gurus and just couldn't break over that plateau. He hired me. I coached him one-on-one -on -one for a year. In one year, we took him from 4 million to over 20 million in sales, wow. a 6X a increase. So talk about a hockey stick. We're I'm very known for that hockey stick, getting my clients wow. hockey stick growth, That's awesome. uh, which is pretty exciting. And what's amazing about that is that we don't really work on the outer game of like marketing and sales and customer right. service. You need all that. I mean, as a right. business, of course, you have to have that. But right. really, the, the the huge hockey stick growth comes from when we look at your inner game, you know, the things I'm talking about with your beliefs. Yeah. And do you find that's usually, a, I mean, I would assume a, a combo of like figuring out what the head trash is Mm -hmm. And shifting it with the affirmations is that kind of your approach? <laughs> well, affirmations is is the greatest tool ever invented yeah. to take out head trash. Yes, and and yeah. I, I say that you know in all humility because I'm like I've I've studied it all and I've I've tried everything and it's just the best right. that I've ever seen. Um, and yes, I can say that because I invented it. Yes, but <laughs> I haven't seen anything better. Yeah. Uh, and so, but but again, it's, that is not enough because I'll give you an right. example. Imagine if you wanted to lose weight, let's just use that as an yeah. example, right? A common thing, a lot, you know, most people say, I want to lose right. you know, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever. Right. So imagine if you were to a form, why, why did I lose 20 pounds? <laughs> yeah. And then all you do is sit on the couch, eat right. junk food, and just think about that. <laughs> right. right. See, now that's not going to work because right. that's called magical thinking. Now that's what they yeah. sold you in the secret. In the secret, they sold you magical thinking. They literally said, all you have to do is think about money and money falls in from the sky. 
Now, I don't know what planet that works on, but I would move to that planet tomorrow if I could, because here on planet Earth, we have to do this annoying thing called take action in order yeah. to get a result, right? Yeah. Like money or weight loss or, I mean, happiness. Imagine if you say, you know, why do I have a happy relationship? And all you do is you put down your partner and, you know, yell at them and criticize them. And I mean, no, it doesn't work that way. That's why, mm -hmm. you know, I was saying that I don't want people to think as, as amazing and powerful and frankly, miraculous. And we've had some really miraculous results from our formations that people mm -hmm. have told me about over the last 20 mm -hmm. plus years. It's still not enough. You have to have right. the whole system in place. Yeah. And that's why, you know, we start with the beliefs. Yes. But then we still have to do the rest of, of the system. But that's what I mean. It's a yeah. systematic approach, not yeah. a personality driven. It's not about me knowing right. this guy and my, oh, I got this big personality. Who cares? You know, yeah. it's about a system. And that's why it yeah. works, whether, you know, teenagers all, you know, to CEOs, I mean, eight, you know, seven, eight figure CEOs, athletes, you know, celebrities, and, and, you know, working moms and dads and teens and everything like that and everything in between. Yeah. You're helping people get past that stuck feeling of like, yeah. I'm just going to, in my head, <laughs> do this all in my head. And it's like, okay, cool. Like let's look for, look for solutions in the, but then you got to actually do it. It's a much more logical approach. And, yeah. you know, I, I had a, a guy on my podcast that had this miraculous life-changing, saw himself on stage at Comic-Con, the starving college student, and then it all happened. And he's, you know, a famous movie star now and all this stuff. And so it, I, you remind me of an analogy he gave that I just love, you know, and whether you believe in God, universe, whatever word you have for, you know, higher power. He's like, I believe that God like if you're just standing still and God nudges you, you're just going to revert right back where you are. But if you are sprinting, if you are in action and God nudges you, you're like, okay. And that's kind of what I'm hearing from you. It's like the, yeah. the action's got to be happening. we got to integrate those practices. And then when the little shifts happen in the mindset, they actually work because you're doing something. I, I've, got, I've got a perfect story to illustrate that. <laughs> uh, and that's a personal story for me. Uh, back in 2020, uh, during really the, the height of the pandemic, uh, on the Saturday before Thanksgiving of 2020, I woke up at 6 a.m. and I had a vision that I was supposed to move. And mm -hmm. uh, my, it was my wife and I, you know, living in a nice house. And I'm like, "What do you mean? I don't, I don't really want to move right now. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. everything's fine, everything's good." Yeah. And I'm like, "But see, I heard that voice, right? We all, right. Yeah, we all have these, right? We all yep. have these, these nudges, as you said, you know, yeah. but most people don't listen, right? Most people don't take action. So right. I've been doing this long right. enough. I've helped a lot of people make a lot of money. I've made a lot of money. So I'm like, I, I know when the list. So anyway, I got out of bed. I'm like, and I said to my wife, I said, honey, I'm just going to, you know, get up for, I didn't really tell her, but I said, you know, I'm just going to get up. And anyway, so I went on the computer and I um, just was going around real estate sites, you know, and I found this incredible, like stunning mansion. It was literally 10 minutes down the street from us, from where we were living. And I'm going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm looking at the pictures. This place is incredible. And it's well within my price range. And they just actually had a price drop. And guess what? There's, a, there's an open house tomorrow, wow. the Sunday before Thanksgiving of 2020. We go to the open house. and We're like, oh, my God. I made an offer. 83 days later, we moved into this house. It's a 6,000 square foot mansion on a hill. Our clients lovingly call it Success Manor. And I mean, that is how, I mean, I tell that story because this is why people say, oh, I don't know if I can change. Your life can change in 12 weeks, 83 days. That's one day shy of 12 weeks. Wow. Literally, your life can change cool. in 12 weeks. But yes, you've got to listen, listen to that inner knowing, those inner promptings. But yes, you have to take the action too. Yeah. I, okay. I'm curious on this. Like when you meet up with, let's say somebody's in that exact same scenario and they're not as skilled and they don't have as much trust. And, and so the fear stories start coming in of like, well, I don't know, like maybe I don't need a 6,000 square foot man or I don't know, like, is, is it really worth all the trouble? You know, how do yeah. you address those kind of things with people? Well, fear is always there. I mean, where, <laughs> wherever level you're at, if you're, you know, if you're getting to six figures or seven figures or eight figures, wherever you're at, there's always going to be fear of going to that next milestone, that next level. Mm -hmm. And so fear will never not be there. And so what people, uh, one of the things that holds people back is they say, well, I'll do it when I'm not afraid. Well, then you'll <laughs> never do it. I mean, yeah. there, there's, I mean, and what's so sad and ironic is that even as you become more successful, you're going to find that you get more haters. There's no way. Yeah. I mean, even yeah. if you're losing weight, that's a perfect example, again, of weight right. loss. If you lose weight, uh, and sadly, uh, especially for females, females go through this much worse than men. 
right? Yeah. It's it's definitely not fair. Females yeah. have this much, much harder. In other words, you start to lose weight as a female, what's going to come out? All the female haters. Right. What do you think you're doing? And, uh, 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 and it's all about them and, you know, their yeah. body image, et cetera, et right. cetera, their, right. their head trash. Right. Right. So just that's one example. And so one of the things that holds a lot of people back is that fear of criticism. Wow. So yeah. One of the things I tell my clients all the time is, you know what, you can't, you can't make everybody happy. And if that's your goal, you're going to be in big trouble because yeah. there's no way. The only way you can keep everyone happy is make sure you don't do anything. <laughs> And that's, that's not a recipe for success. And then someone will be mad about that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So just, no, just get over it. And you know what? Uh, Joel Osteen, I love Joel Osteen. He's a great speaker. And um, he said something, a great quote that I love. He said, um, let's see, when I, when I turned 40, I, uh, I, I didn't care so much about what people said about me. When I turned 50, I stopped caring what people thought about me. And then when I turned 60, I realized no one's thinking about me anyway. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that is oh, really man. good. I really love that. It's like, you know, yes. they, don't, they don't care, really. They just care about themselves and just move on. Yeah. It's the beauty and wis <laughs> the wisdom of age. I'm, I just turned 40 and I'm loving yeah. it. Like the, the mm -hmm. level of not caring about exactly. so much stuff has just dropped like suitcases yes. full of it. It's just like, none of that even yeah. matters. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can we talk about power habits a little bit? Could you yeah. highlight some of the most important ones? Oh, absolutely. Sure. All right. In fact, I can, uh, let's see. So when you, uh, and you can get the book, by the way, uh, powerhabitsbook.com. Uh, and yes, I have, I have 300 domains. I won't give you all those either. So <laughs> powerhabitsbook.com. And there's lots of bonuses too, when you get that. Awesome. So you just get the book on Amazon and then you come back and I've got some special okay. bonuses. So there it is. And I'll just show you here on page 100. That is the system right there, page 100. So you can see that is the system. So it is a very systematic approach so and for the, people uh, on audio, can you kind of describe what you just showed? Oh, yeah, yeah. So for audio, I mean, it, it is, it's a systematic, holistic approach. And by the way, it's so ironic and funny you mentioned Napoleon Hill earlier, because a lot of people say that my work starts where Napoleon Hill's left off. Right, Meaning yeah. That Because um, what Napoleon Hill did, uh, you know, and I'm sure we all know Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, yeah. Uh, you know, a, a century ago, basically a century ago, he interviewed all these, you know, uh, famous, rich, successful men. Of course, they were all men at that time. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, he basically said to them, hey, so how'd you get so successful? Well, I did this, 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 and this. OK. And so Napoleon Hill said, well, you do this, 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 and this, and you become successful. So yeah. number one, if you notice, if you actually read Think and Grow Rich, he really didn't say anything. There's actually nothing really in that book. It's kind of like it's kind of like a lot of air. That's what I noticed. Mm -hmm. And now I notice what I also notice is people get very passionate about that particular book. They, you know, they treat it like the Bible. And I'm like, he didn't really say anything. You know, there's not really anything there. And I know that's a <laughs> controversial position. But anyway, um, so he basically he asked these guys, you know, what do you do? And he said, OK, you do this. But what's fascinating about that is those were all conscious habits. Yes. Right. And yeah. so what the reason that I pick up where he left off is because I teach the unconscious habits, what they do that they don't know. You yeah. can interview them till the cows come home. They won't tell you anyway. Right. Not because they're right. being mean or jerks or whatever. They just don't know. They're unconscious. Yeah. All right. So affirmations is a great example of that. All right. If you were to you know talk to these guys. Uh, and now, of course, we talk to men and women, right, that who are yeah. highly successful, you know, seven, eight, nine figure earners, whatever. Uh -huh. So now we have men and women that can mm -hmm. do that and that are doing that. And so the point is that, you know, they probably still wouldn't really be able to tell you that they're doing this. But I know right. because I've interviewed uh, over 200 millionaires, multimillionaires, even a few billionaires. And one of the things that I will do just kind of as a lark, I'll say, by the way, did you ever notice that you do this? And they'll pause for a second and go. Yeah, you're right. I do that. I never thought of yeah, that. Yeah, right. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You're unconscious, right? right? See what I mean? And again, it's not, yep. that's not a criticism. That's a, you're lucky. How about, yeah. the, but the point is, what about the rest of us? You know, right. what are we supposed to do? Sit there and say, oh, believe in yourself, set your goals, use vision board. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, thanks a lot. So affirmations are the foundational power habit for that precise reason, because number one, 99% of the people you're going to meet have lots of head trash. The voice mm -hmm. that says, oh, I can't do it, you know, and, and they think about their goals, right? So they may even have gone through the process of goal setting. But as soon as you say, well, I want this. Yeah, I probably can't do it. Okay, well, 
yeah, then if you believe you can't do it, guess what you're going to do? You're going to make yourself right. You're going to prove yourself right by not doing it. This is one of the reasons that one of the biggest, well, actually the biggest thing that people write to me about right now, you know, as a coach, as a mentor Mm -hmm. is Noah, I've got so many things to do, but I have so much trouble focusing. I, 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 there's so many distractions out there Mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, Mm -hmm. there are, I mean, Mm -hmm. welcome to the planet in this year. I mean, we're we're not going back. Right. right. I mean, it's only getting worse, worse and worse. When I ask my audience members, you know, as a keynote speaker, I say, who, who thinks distractions are going to go down anytime soon? (laughs) Right. Of course not. It's only going to get worse. Right. And you know, when we talk just about social media, I mean, look, at, at our fingertips, every second, we have these, these devices, these wonderful devices called smartphones that is gives us access to a world of infinite distractions every second. Yep. So yeah, it's only going to get worse and worse. And people ask me this all the time. Noah, how did you write 19 books? And I always answer it the same way, by writing them. Right. And and that, and they think that's a flippant answer, but no, it's uh-huh. actually a very true answer. I wrote them by writing them. Right. And you're like, but what? <laughs> the point is that when I'm writing a book or, or any project, right? T- take any project, whether you know whether right. you want to write a book or not, or create an online course or whatever it might be in your business or, or your life. Mm-hmm. If you allow yourself to be distracted, well, then you probably won't get it done, right? Right. You know, people say, oh, but I, I want to I want to grow my business. I want to grow. I want to do that. And I want to do this. I wonder what's on Netflix. Right. OK. You know, yeah. Well, I guess you don't really want it that bad, you know, or mm-hmm. you're just too afraid of what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, if you go after it, because then <laughs> right. you have the fear of failure and you have the fear of success at the same time. So mm-hmm. that's what happens when and that's what really, um, you know, my system really encompasses is. Mm-hmm. And that, again, I I'll reiterate, it came from my own frustration. Yeah. Of how come I've been reading all these books for so many years and, and I'm not getting the result I want? I mean, when I was 25 years old, I decided to commit suicide because I was so depressed. I was so wow. frustrated. And I've been reading all these self-help books for years. Mm, and yet wow. I was so depressed that I decided to take my own life. Now, at the very last minute, my life, at the last moment, my life was spared. Wow. And so I really didn't know why, though. At that time, this was, mm. you know, in 1992 when I was 25 mm-hmm. years old. And so I, mm-hmm. I was like, I don't really want to be here, but I guess I'm supposed to be here. So I better figure out why. Mm. And that took me on a very long journey of reading lots of spiritual books and, you know, going mm. to the library at the time. And, yeah. you know, there was no internet. And so I just read lots of books. And then that's when I realized that I'd been doing everything that they taught me, but yet it really, it really wasn't working very well. And so that's really when I and why I came up with uh, the system and the formula. Wow. wow. Thank you for sharing that. And I think you hit on something so important is that with personal development, with, you know, financial goals and physical, and everything is in our faces all the time. Mm-hmm. I think when people can't find methods that work, it almost spirals them down deeper because yes. they're like, apparently everybody else can figure this out, but me. So there right. must be something wrong with me yeah. Yeah. when it's really just that you're not getting helpful information on how to get from A to B and then B to C and then C, or in right. your case, A to Q or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, exactly. I mean, so for example, let's take the 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 phenomenon of self sabotage, right? That's a yeah. very common thing. Everybody talks about it, you know, yeah. holding yourself back, whatever. So prior to my work, prior to you know my books, my coaching, my training, do you know what the solution was or the treatment was for self sabotage? No. So if you're sabotaging yourself, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is so check, please. I mean, hello, what? Right. And that really was it. It was just, yeah, don't do that. Now I'm going, uh, yeah, thank you. I never thought of that. Wow. That's yeah. So it's like helpful. when you tell people to just stop binge eating, just don't yeah, anymore. Yeah, right. It's like, okay, right. thanks. Or, I didn't try right. that already. Or you say to an anorexic, well, why don't you just eat? Thanks a lot. Yeah, I never thought of that. That's so helpful. <laughs> you see what I mean? So yeah. that that's uh, you know, that's that again, that's the, the the reason that I had to come up with. I had to write all these books. I had to come up with all this coaching for me, you know, yeah. the guy who really, really wanted it and was very frustrated with 
with, with, I guess, I think the biggest frustration for me was that everybody else is talking about symptoms. You know, they're, they're, they're just up here on the surface. Yeah. So imagine if you went to the dentist, right? And you have a toothache, right? Your tooth hurts. You're like, oh man, that really hurts, right? And you go to the, uh, the dentist, right? And he goes, and he looks at you and he goes, yeah, wow, you got a cavity there. And you're like, uh-huh. And he says, all right, well, here, have some painkillers. Here's some pain pills for you. Like, well, yeah, that's great, but you, you, you need to fix the problem, right? right. I, the pain is a symptom so right. you for all of us. And think, think about all the pain or problems that you know, we humans have. I mean, whether mm-hmm. you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a speaker, author, a coach, or, or you know, whatever you are, you have pain. But see, pain is symptoms. And see, what happens is when you only treat the symptom, what happens? Well, without right. if, if you only if you don't treat the cause, you only treat symptoms. What happens? The symptoms come back, but only worse. Exactly. Right? So if you had that toothache and you okay, fine, I'll take some pain. But what happened to the cause? It's only going to get worse and worse and worse over time, right? Hundred percent. So that's what that was. What was so frustrating to me, and mm-hmm. that is why I created you know the systems that I have, the power yeah. systems and other things, because I'm like, <laughs> if you're only treating, it's like putting a band aid. On someone uh-huh. who's having a heart attack. There, you feel better now? Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. I'm still in a lot of pain here. I need a little help, you know? So, yeah. I mean, story of my life. And that's unfortunately like kind of like the general consensus in the world, you know? And like it, for me, you know, in, in, in my health coaching part of what I do, it's like when people are being hard on themselves about alcohol issues, I'm like, it's the alcohol's not the issue. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the thing no, that what, what's causing you that's to right. need to feel better with the alcohol or the binge right. eating is not the issue. It's, right. it's what's causing that it's what's that's underneath right. that. And that's what you're doing in your work at such a deep level is it's, you know, the being stuck at $4 million or $40,000 right. is just a symptom that's right. of what's going on underneath the surface and helping people illuminate right. that. And then I guess um, my last question is like, where, where would you recommend people start? Like what path okay. you have so much much know. you know like what, do you have a recommended path for people it's, it's tough I, and i get that question a lot because they're like where do we start no i'm like i know i couldn't help myself i just kind of yeah, i'm gonna things. interject my recommendation is start with the book of affirmations because oh, it's just such you. a paradigm shifter it's like oh thank this you. makes so much yeah. sense but yeah, I, that's absolutely my opinion. <laughs> I, I guess I, yeah that i mean those would be okay so I'll, I'll go back to this one get rid of your head trash mm. about money this the book is free send me a book noah very easy to remember send me a book noah Dot com. So definitely, this is like a primer on my work. You'll notice this is a pretty short book, so you can get through those pretty quick. I love uh, that it's about free, your books. So it's nice. So yeah. yeah, so send me a book, Noah. And then really the 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 essence, my my, you know, this is like my my grand opus here is power habits. This this really mm. is it. This is the that's system. it. Okay. And by the way, this is on Audible. Um, we also have an online program called Power Habits Academy which is a video and I give you checklists nice. and everything like that. Cool. Um, and I'll give you one more, one more. Um, Real quick, is, Noah, sorry, powerhabitsbook.com is yes, the powerhabitsbook.com. Okay. Yes. And then one more, which is free gift from Noah.com. How's that? Also easy to remember <laughs> free gift from Noah.com. And that is a new report that I just released on how I help my clients make more in just 12 weeks than they made in the past 12 months while winning cool. their life back. So that has, cool. Uh, there's a PDF report. There's a uh, video training. Um, it's very, very powerful. Free gift from Noah.com. Cool. I've got those all written down. I'm writing them down right now. Oh, so we don't miss you. any of them. I'll send those over to my team. Make sure we get those in the show notes. Thank you. Uh, any events or speaking where people can catch you on the docket coming up? Yeah. Uh, here's another one. Ah, uh, sevenfiguremindintensive.com. So that's a three-day virtual event that we do. So the number seven, sevenfiguremindintensive.com. So it's called the Seven Figure Mind Intensive. Uh, okay. And that is a free event. It's a free virtual event. It happens over three days. Uh, and, um, the, ver- as I said, it's free. Uh, we do have a VIP upgrade. If you want to have more time uh-huh. with me or extra coaching bonus coaching, plus, uh, there's a lot of bonuses, uh, okay. but, uh, seven figure mind intensive.com. That's a, a free virtual event coming up. And yeah, um, nice. that, you know, at, at our website, you can, uh, you can find all these things. Okay, cool. We will link it all up. Noah, thank you. Legend. My pleasure, Appreciate Tara. it. I'm so glad you had that shower moment and that I know, you acted right? on Me it too. and lived everything that you're teaching. Wow. So <laughs> it's been such a pleasure. Thank you so Thank much you. for taking the time. My pleasure.